Hello guys, welcome to my channel today. There is something that has been on my mind for a while. I've been thinking like, why is it that Nigerian politicians are here and heavy during the election processes? Uh, they are here and heavy when they have a case in court by saying, well, I didn't lose uh, and they take the case to court. They are here and heavy when they are doing everything. But all of a sudden, they become sick. Not only sick, they become, like they say, he's battling serious health issues when they know that they've come with the end of the road has come for them why why that is one of the things i want us to discuss why why could it be that oh they were so busy serving our our beloved country that they forgot to attend to their heads or could it be that the news that they will have to face their trial is what brought the serious issue. I have not seen, it is rare, it is rare in this country to see a politician walk up to his superiors or his colleagues, like, like Oshikalu in the Senate, and say, Well, I want to go on medical uh, leave, I have a challenge, like Buhari does. At least people blame Buhari, but people could just say, Well, I want to go on it for. Um, Two weeks, one month vacation. I need to attend to my head. They never do. They what? They never do. This man, he's in jail now, but he still receives salary as a senator. What kind of fucking country is that? It's a fucked up country. This country is fucked up. It's, it's, it's what? It's fucked up. As a punishment, not only will he spend time in jail. He will refund the money and every money coming that is supposed to come will be forfeited. His position forfeited. Come on. His position is what? He's supposed to be what? Forfeited. So there are, th there are things that should be done to him. Number one, he's supposed to spend time in jail, which he's doing now. Number two, he is supposed to lose his pay in the Senate. Three, he's supposed to lose his seat in the Senate. And four, he's supposed to refund those money. Because we have the likes of Malami, uh, sorry, Adoki, they always claim that they are sick, they have serious issues, and they need to do this and do that. We have Timmy Melaya, who said he was sick, but the next time he was campaigning on Iran, they did not attend to his health issues. We have uh, okay, Dino. We have a Apple Look at him. Look at when he came to the job, uh, to, to, to the court. Before, he was not on crushes. It was after the election. Uh, uh, sorry, after he was pronounced uh, this, that he's corrupt. That's when he started having those issues. Why is it like that? And that brings us to the case of some of the Nigerian politicians who about one point or the other try to jump bail by faking head concerns. Many of them. Wabdinu Melaye, Olisa Metu, Haribun Bello, Polumbekeme, Alice Madreke, Tina, nobody have heard from her that she's sick, this and that. Look at the Let me know what your take is on this issue.